Hey, investigative reporter Harvey Levin profiles another child born into one of the most notorious cults in American history, the Manson family. I was more mad at the people that took her away than, than my mom herself. Paul's 22 years of life have been a trial of strength. His mother, Catherine Gypsy Share, was a member of the Manson family. She gave birth to Paul in jail while awaiting prosecution for allegedly attempting to poison a prosecution witness in the Sharon Tate murder trial. But even jail bars couldn't separate Catherine Share from Charles Manson. It was a pretty hard experience. Um, Charlie wanted me to tell them that he was the father and I was programmed. I mean, we, we were sent notes constantly, do this, do that, do the other thing. Minutes after birth, Paul was placed in a foster home. He didn't see his mother again until he was three at the Frontera State Prison. That's where Catherine Scher was doing time for a shootout in Hawthorne, a failed, bizarre attempt to free Charles Manson. Catherine Scher spent nine of Paul's first 13 years of life in prison, but they stayed in touch, and for her three years of freedom, the two lived together. For the most part, though, Paul lived in foster homes and a Christian group home. She became a Christian when I was around, around eight years old. Um, that's one of the things that I see why my life is so intact right now, because I was raised like that. I was always, always loved. Now Paul and Catherine live in the southern United States. They're extremely close. Both make church a central part of life. As for the past, Paul is forgiving. What she did in her past um, doesn't make her a bad person for who she is today. Um, everyone has a past, and what they do to, I guess, to rectify it or to make their future better is what they should be seen for. Paul didn't learn about his connection to the Manson family until he was 14. Someone had read a book and recognized my picture, and I think it was a Bugliosi book, and, uh, and came to him and told him, you're a Manson. And he came running home and said, Mom, am I a Manson? And I told him, no, you're not. And he just, he trusts me. I always told him the truth. I might have not told him everything, but I told him the truth as it came up and as he was ready. I've never really been curious about it. I, my mom told me all about it. Um, and I said, well, hey, you know, that, that's, that's your past. That's what you did, you know. What about the future now? Paul works full time supporting himself through college. He's also in the military and wants a career servicing jets. Paul thinks his rocky upbringing has been a source of strength. When someone is away from a loved one for a while, it, you know, it sort of makes them sort of a little bit stronger. They rely more on themselves. Catherine Scher won't disclose the identity of Paul's father. Finally, a few people who are part of the Manson family have contacted us this week objecting to some of the characterizations on family life, especially drug use. Soon on Action News, you will hear their take on life with Charles Manson.